So what I'm going to be talking about today is, well, God will supply all of our needs. <clears throat> so the scripture that we're, that we're coming from today, and this is one of the scriptures that we're going to be speaking. Well, one of the scriptures we're going to be reading. It says, therefore, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So first we're gonna go to 31. And basically, it's um, it's pretty straightforward. It says, "Take no thought." I'm gonna say it again. Take no thought, and what shall we eat? We don't have to think about what we need. We don't have to think about: Am I gonna have my next meal? Am Am I gonna have enough money to pay my rent? You don't have to think about those things because God will supply that. And we're going to go back to the scripture and it says for God, well, for your heavenly father knoweth that ye need all these things. So he already knows that you need them. So why do you, you don't have to worry about if you don't have food or clothing because he's going to give it to you. He's going to provide and he already knows that you need these things. So... And, and it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all in his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. In order to have, in order to not have this worry, you have to seek him first. And in order to seek him first, you need to have faith. And to, and the scripture I have is, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It's Hebrews 11 and 6. And what this is saying is that you can't please God if you don't have faith. So in order to seek him first, you have to have faith. And I have a story about a woman who had a blood disease, like a blood issue for 12 years. And she believed that if she can touch the garment of Jesus, that she would be healed. And that's exactly what happened. So that shows that when we have faith, anything can happen. He can take us out of whatever situation we're in, he can guide us through. And it don't matter like how bad it may seem, he will always provide for you. Well, um, in my personal, uh, when I, I chose this topic to talk about because I remember when I used to just, I mean, I'm pretty blessed. And for me to be like, oh, am I gonna eat? Am I gonna do that? And then just reading this scripture, it's like, it really reminds me that God will take care of me. And if I do find myself in a situation where it seems like, oh, um, I don't have enough money for this, or I don't have enough money for that. I know that from Matthew 6, 33, no, yeah, Matthew 6, 31 to 33, that he will supply my needs.